And I was like, oh yes, that's so good. That's gonna make someone scream in their apartment. I know you guys have talked a little about like that's those were the days when it kind of started to finally creep in like the feeling that it was ending like what were those days like on set like pre-COVID the scene between Cass and Dean basically Cass's goodbye scene it started to hit a little bit that that day because you know there's been there's been these big emotional scenes throughout the show uh especially between both Cass and Dean and between Cass and Sam, between Dean and Sam, between Jack, you know, a, a variety of characters have had these big emotional poignant scenes, so to speak. Right. Um, but just kind of knowing the levity of that one and knowing that this was, this was uh, Misha's kind of tearful goodbye to Cass um, was tough. And I kind of did my best to hold it together on, on my end. Um, I remember looking over and seeing several of the crew members just like in tears, uh, kind of watching from the sidelines. Um, and so I can't, I think it kind of started to hit me then. Jared was a wreck from episode one of season 15. <laughs> he was just like, I, yeah, he, 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 he was a struggle bus the whole, the whole season. Uh, so, and, and admittedly so, like, he's like, oh yeah, I got emotional from day one. Um, and, uh, and I just kind of, I, I was like, I kept pushing it off and pushing it off. I'm like, no, no, no. Like we we still got, we still got episodes to, to shoot. We've still got uh, a lot of work to do. And, um, so I, I just kind of kept treating it as, you know, another, another season, another episode, another day on set. And then that that scene with Misha was, um, you know, hard to hard to ignore as far as kind of the the, the beginning of the end. Um, I'll have you know, in that cast scene, I actually screamed out at what like I surprised myself a little bit. I when I saw the handprint, I yelled to the point to where my mom was like, you do realize if you're ever attacked in your apartment, your neighbors are gonna think you're just watching television if you keep screaming about <laughs> I was like, well, I can't, ha I just like the handprint, that's what destroyed me. Okay, so I, and I could be wrong and I, uh, I'm gonna have to double check this. Um, so put an asterisk next to this, but I, I kind of wanna say that was Misha's idea. Ooh, that'd be fun. I think, because he had the bloody hand from making the sigil on the door to keep Billy out. And then I feel like that was a on the day idea. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think it was Misha that came up with that. Could have been Richard who was directing that one, but I feel like we came up with that on the fly. I, I could be wrong. And uh, Bob Barron's is probably going to kill me if it's actually written in the script. And for that, Bobo, I'm sorry if it was, but I, I feel like there was something about that handprint that was, um, that was kind of, it kind of came to us uh, on the day. Yeah. Okay. And, I, and I was like, oh yes, that's so good. That's, that's gonna make someone scream in their apartment. Exactly. That's yeah. gonna potentially screw me over if I'm ever attacked in the future. Um, yeah.